Ooh, what's going on, Jeremy? So much? Yeah. Bonjour. <laughs> All right, so we're back playing some more uh, Little Kitty Big City. I can jump on my, uh, I can uh, climb on a uh, moss now. I know. I do know that. Forgot how to run. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's moss here. Moss. No. Oh. oh yeah. Um. I was gonna say. What's that? I got some new game boards. Did you? Yeah, I did. I got some new games considering they were not even out in the shop yet. I can't stop, like, going out yet. That's neat. Oh, it's going to be so rude nowadays. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. 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 I didn't do nothing. Now you will chill! Kill all the coffin. I've got a another one here actually on the bag. One bit is a freaking ink, which is cool. I'm so mad that I've got the part that I saw here. Oh, okay. Well, there's Emil, or em Emily, or whatever it's called. Emily! Emily! I might have yeah, to skip her. You can't get her, huh? Uh, I don't even know if I can. I I can try, but I don't think it'll work. Uh, I don't have really <laughs> a lot of money to spend. Uh, oh, that's the closest I can get in one, I guess. I gotta check the, uh, the list. Ah, hello there. I wonder if you can, if you could provide some, uh, Urgent assistance. What kind of assistance? I think it depends on the problem. Uh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Quite right. Quite right. I don't want to alarm anyone, yet it's rather a pressing concern. Although, perhaps I'm just panicking. But there's no two ways about it. Um, about what? Oh, I didn't say. Oh, didn't I say? I seem to have misled my ducklings. Misled is a is a bad joke. A bird joke. I don't. I don't follow. Never mind. Missing ducklings sounds pretty serious. It does, doesn't it? What happened? Uh, well, we were all enjoying an educational tour of the neighborhood. Me teaching the youngsters some local history. For example, you know the robot statue in the park behind us. Uh, I didn't even know there was one there. Oh, you should absolutely visit it. 
you see the robot is quite fascinating. Not a s statue in the traditional sense either. Legend has it that a wise duck, not too dissimilar from myself in fact, uh, would visit this park every day with his robot friend. Very loyal. Robots delightful. Back then this was a, a lake hulking great wet things there. The pair would swim, splashing, and frolicking. You know, the sort of thing. But robots are robots and waters. Eh. God, this guy talks a lot. Uh, all that frizzling and sprouting, not, some, not at all. Crust patches, wet, circularly exploded knees. The robot, not the, the robot, not the duck. I mean. Uh, <laughs> The robot swimming days were over. Terribly sad and sad stuff. So he asked the duck to change his programming. Quite the feat, if you ask me. Could never get my head round computers myself. The duck helped program the robot to wait in the playground while the duck swam. Great idea, that. And it went beautiful. But... One day, one fine day, probably much... God, is this a story? What's going on? One fine day, probably much like <laughs> this one, truth be told, the duck was attacked by the radioactive monster. Okay, <laughs> just like, wow, okay. Wait, a, a monster? Deku. Or is it Kachu? Huh? I'm just going to say Geku. Geku, because I like it. Usually Geku is our protector, you know? Breathing fire, saving orphans, charity galas, lovely chap, apart from the rampages, really. Rampages? Oh yes, humans wrote those up a little paper. Roll those up in a little paper. Documents. Very engaging, really. Paper documentary. Tour. I mean, comics? Truck kidnaps the. Oh my god! <laughs> this whole time he's just talking about a comic. Oh wow. So Gekko kidnaps the duck and. Whoopsie Daisy throws him through a star portal. Whoosh! Quack! Never to be seen again. And the thing we. And the. Th <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, that threw me off a little there. Uh, like. <laughs> And the thing we mistake for a statue in the playground is actually the loyal robot waiting patiently for his friend to return from his swim. I... Are you saying that Gekko has kidnapped your children? I'm not sure how this relates to the missing ducklings. Oh, 
Oh no, it's just a great story. I shared it with I shared it with the ducklings before we split up to find more neighborhood stories for our little show and tell session. Our show and tell session. That had nothing to do with the whole kidnapping, it was just a story you just decided to tell us. Oh my god. Uh, show and tell. That sounds fun. Eh, oh, yes, I thought so. Anyway, we scampered off in different directions. All very exciting in the moment. But, ah, and I suppose this is the crux of the matter, really. I didn't set a time or place for us to re reconvene. Ah. Wasn't sure what to do for the best. Not really a practical duck, you see, but I didn't want us to be rushing around messing one another, missing one another. Dreadful when they, that happens. So I retraced my step, steps back here and waited. No luck. Alas, no, but he seemed like a practical sort of cat. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Very well. So could we team up? I'll keep watch here and kind of enjoying it. I mean, kind of enjoying it, really. And you scout the city. Oh, really gonna make me do all the work? Okay. The whole city? It seems pretty big. Mm, you're right. There must be a, a way for us to narrow down our search. Eureka! What the fuck? Eureka? What? The fuck says that anymore? God, I've been like talking to this duck for hours. It's got so much to say, my god. We made it to the city. We made a city map just last week. Marvelous thing. Part of our project to catalog, catalog all the different fish hotspots in the city. The ducklings marked each of their favorite places on it too. Such enthusiasm for maps. And I bet that's where they will have they will have gone. Here, take it. My skills are dreadful, but you'll be able to track them down in no time. Yeah, just make me do all the freaking work. <laughs> Can I stop talking with this freaking duck? Just ignore the. <laughs> like I've been talking to him for like hours. It feels like. God, just ignore. Just ignore the fish markers. Can't see the interest they would be to a kitty, unless you're a budding. Ichiologist, of course. Right. Finally, shut up. Talk too much. There's a lot of stuff in this. Oh, there's stuff behind this bamboo. How do we get past the bamboo? I knew. Oh. Oh, wow, it's a duck. Oh, okay, I made it in. Okay.
What is it? What is it? What is it? <gasps> cactus hat! Drop the sauce. I got the cactus hat. The ideal hat. Oh, well, the cactus hat. Yeah. The ideal hat. For when you need some no. personal space. <laughs> I need personal space right now. From Fox. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna wear it. Are you talking to me? No. Are you talking to me? No. <laughs> Wait, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Are like you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I know you weren't talking to me. Because if you were talking to me, you'd be talking to I'm him. I'm talking to you. You're talking to me. What do you mean I'm talking to you? I don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh. I'm going to park now, I think. Oh, the playground. Neat. I found a playground. You know those uh, things you sit on, they rock back and forth? Uh, what do you mean? They're you know, like, uh, you sit on them and you can rock back and forth because they have a, a spring. Underneath them. Uh, I think it's park. Yeah. Oh, um, I don't know. I know they've got a name, but, uh, <gasps> yeah. They're cool. I, I mean, I've, have you, have you, like, played on them before? Yes. <laughs> I think I have once. I don't remember exactly. But I, I got good news. I found the chameleon again. Oh no, the chameleon. Yeah. He was right here at the playground. Hello. Beep. Oh, it's just you. Wait. That's worse. I mean, you found me again? can't work out if you're being serious or not. I assure you, this is the most serious I have ever taken anything. Oh. It's just that I, uh, I mean... Yes? Well, you're right there. There's no other way to say, say it. I can see oh, you. No. This is absolutely baffling, but there must be a solution. Perhaps I will figure out, figure it out on the way to the next location. Speaking of which, a sealed glass case containing snacks can stop a human in their tracks. What's better than just one machine? A group of six to choose between. What is he rhyming now? Jesus. That one was pretty good. Thank you. I was very proud of it. Proud of myself. But that's enough chit chat. Good luck finding me. Oh, thank God he didn't fucking babble like the last time. Alright. Another one. I got another capsule. A turtle hat.
<laughs> now, why do I suddenly want to race go karts with a plumber with plumber in red overalls? Oh my god. Well, that's a reference to uh, Mario, I guess. Cool. I got a turtle hat now. side of the way. Cool. Now I can get over there. I can't really climb on it for too long. I can't climb on moss for too long. Oh. What do you want, bird? Oh, it's the crow. Okay. Kitty! You look like the kind of cat who enjoys a stylish accessory or two. Is this a trap? It's a trap! <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. Well, if that's all, I guess I'll see you around. Unrelated, unrelatedly, have you heard about my new and glorious business venture? Uh, it's called Shiny Shinies for Hats. You're selling hats now? Absolutely not. But. It's literally called Shinies and for Hats. Aha! That's the clever part. I'm not selling hats. I'm selling access to hats. <laughs> you see... Yeah. You see, the hats live in these little pod machines. And you, a helpless kitty, do not have the secret wisdom needed to use the machines. I'm not a helpless kitty. <laughs> now let's not quibble over who called whom helpless. You just did. Not when there are hats at stake. Don't try and change the subject. Only I, Crow, can perform the ancient Crow ritual of inserting a token and turning the knob. Yeah, let them see how that is. It doesn't sound difficult. Which brings us to the business. My proposition is as follows. Five shinies lets you hire one crow. That's me to retire, to retrieve a, uh, one hat. So are you, uh, so you are sets. No, I'm a operating framework with a business called Shinies for Hats. Yes, only because Shinies for access to crows who have access to hats tested poorly with customers. Yeah, it's a freaking long ass name. <laughs> Shinies for access to crows who have access to hats. Doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it?
and to use this business I pay five Chinese to get one hat. You're missing the sensible economic genius of my idea. I am the hat gatekeeper. Look, do you want a hat or not? Okay, jeez, don't yell at me. Like, so aggressive. Mm, yes, please. Here you go. Oh, cool, gray pat. Hey, I got the grape hat. Grapes hat. Wow. I love this look. A whole bunch. <laughs> cool. I mean, wow. I just got like a freaking hat. And I'm gonna wear a grape hat now. <laughs> oh my god. It's like I got a fro in my head. Let's see what else I can get. Tangelo hat. <laughs> There's something very appealing about this one. <laughs> oh, they made a pun in that one. Okay. Tangelo hat now. Excuse me, lady. I don't know where the chicken soccer ball is. That'd be great. Oh, there's a dog. Okay. I'm gonna go around that boy. Excuse you. Don't be barking at me, man. Do a fox on me. Cool. I'm on top of the building now. Cool. I'm on top of the building. God, I feel like stray now. <laughs> Can I climb this? No, I can't. Oh, dang it. Okay. Maybe I climb it now. No, I can't. Dang it. I don't have enough stamina for that. Ah. Hello, dog. No, give me my freaking... I just want the Rubik's Cube. What's up? Hello! To suburb esteemed lab assistant. I managed to get the pet... pet work put portals connected up properly. That was quick. It would have been even quicker, but there was a minor space-time incident. Nothing to worry about, though. How minor? In the grand scheme of the multiverse, it was absolutely trivial. Just a tiny, just a teeny tiny set of water pipe explosions that fell out of the future in the other universe and into the recent past of this universe. He, he, he Dr. Strange, what's going on here? I don't know. <laughs> Talks like it. Hang on a moment. Is that where all this water came from? It turns out I've been using linear space-time when I have when I should have been using quadratic quadratic space time laughable really 
I want to try it out. It's really cool. And I need a test uh, a friend. <laughs> yeah, just keeps trying to correct himself. Funny. <laughs> This drastic space time is safe now, isn't it? Quadric space time. Although now you mention it, it dramatic space time would be very interesting too. Are either of them safe? I assure you, I I assume so. Anyway, if we get this working, you can use it to fast travel around the city. What does fast travel mean? If we get the pop work up and running, you'll be able to zoom between any of the active magical portal manholes without needing to run or climb. Oh, neat. That actually sounds great. Right? But first comes the fine tuning. You in? Okay, let's do it. Don't just say no just yet. Hear me out. I didn't say that, but I said yes. Firstly, there are. Wait, what? I said yes. How many times do I have to say it? Want me to say it in another language? <laughs> For real? Call me curious. Yay! This is exciting. You won't regret it. You you need further feathers again? Not this time. Your first journey was so short that I had leftovers. Hop in. It's going to work this time. I'm a hundred percent sure. Give it give or take. Don't give or take me. Just not assure me properly. Hi, oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 it's you. You've come back. I thought I'd scare you off when I jumped up at the window. Oh, it's a dog. That was you? Goodness me, you didn't give me a bit of a fright. Sorry, sorry, I just get so excited when people come to visit. You're a dog, right? Only the bestest, best, goodest dog, my human says so. Right. Is that what you tell your dog? <laughs> <You're> <laughs> I'll be like, Lily. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's nice to meet you, probably. I didn't know there was an official bestest best dog title. Because there's not. That's not a thing. Ah, so you may know me by my other, the squishiest, smoothest potato, or the fuzziest, happiest little pooper. What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what you're on anymore. I don't know either. This shit is so ridiculous. Like, what am I reading? <laughs> That last one, uh, accolade. It's all in the delivery. <laughs> mm. I hang on a moment. Did you say the squishiest, smoothest potato? Sure did. 
My human calls me that too. You, the, what? Gosh, that award must have multiple animal categories. Then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow potato. But, 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 it, mm, okay. Likewise. Anyway, it was lovely to chat. I hope you have a good day. Hello? Um, don't go. This is just a thing that happens. Uh, can you help me a little, potato? What do you need help with? I lost my balls. <laughs> I lost my balls. Oh, God. Eh? My tennis balls are gone! Come through and I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, right, your tennis balls. That's what you meant. Look, no balls! Can, can you not say that, please, ever? Uh, I appreciate the might. I appreciate this might be silly question, but aren't they behind you? What? Oh, those? No, those are just my regular favorite tennis balls. <laughs> I'm talking about my extra special favorite. Favorite tennis balls. They're very different. What happened to them? Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you see. Tanuki built me a present. Uh, let me guess. There was an incident well, of some sort. Not to start with. It was so cool. You should put tennis balls in it and throw them for me while my owner was at work. That sounds really nice. It was perfect for a while, but um, it also did go rogue one day. Balls everywhere. And then it caught on fire a tiny bit. I got most of them back, but my three favorites, favorite, favorites, are still missing. And the machine? I buried it. But please don't tell Tanuki. She would be so sad. And... <laughs> so very sad. Um, also, please, 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 can you help me find my favorite balls? I'll be so grateful. Stop saying that. <laughs> sure, but how do I, how will I know if they're your favorites? Don't all tennis balls look the same? Absolutely not. Each one is Subtly different from the others. The scent, the taste, the texture, the personality. It does not help me at all. I'm not sure I'd be able to tell the favorites from the non favorites if that's the case. Well, my favorite balls also have bright rainbow colored stripes. Now that's a description I can work with. Shall I bring them here when I find them? Yes, please. Just put them in the hole in front of me and I can guard them properly. Sure thing, big potato. You're the best little potato. Oh, God. Okay. Are you taking that? Yeah, I took a cat nap.
What the hell are these rainbow balls? Like to go around the world for them? It's just you, isn't it? <clears throat> I know it feels that way, doesn't it? Uh, it's just you. Oh, there's one inside of freaking uh. <laughs> A, it, it's on a bird nest here. How weird. Oh no. Okay. Oh, is that one up there? Put these pots here. Get out of my pot. Get out of here, you pot. So get, get out of here, you pot. Out of here. I need, I gotta get these pots out of here. They're annoying me. Don't ever put pots on a ceiling again. On a, on a balcony again. Well, I found two of them. Oh my god, ball, please. What's wrong with me today, I swear? I'm just trying to get this ball in here. Okay, I got it. I need one more. Where's the last one? Oh, I found it. It's in a bucket. <laughs> I found it. Oh, what was in the bucket? The ball. It was in a bucket. The ball or your brain? How oh, dare you? You did it, little potato. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's a reward. Here's a show little potato costume. Oh, cool. A shibby hat. A shiba hat. An official little potato costume. Customary of my friend, Big Potato. Cool. I have a shiba hat now. Oh, you don't want to wear it. I'm a cat. I'm a dog cat now. All right. Hmm. There's a. Freaking, hmm. Interesting. All right. Uh. Yeah. That's the uh, end of this one. Hit that like button and also subscribe so we can reach 35 subscribers, please. Yay. And, uh, yeah. I guess on that note, bye.